Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a common challenge faced by many developers using Entity Framework. Our viewer asks, how can I reattach a modified entity with nested child entities without duplicating them in the database? Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your questions, answering them and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy just like me and hopefully we'll get to that resolution you need. Now, let's get started. Let's get to reattach a modified entity and entity framework without duplicating existing child entities, we need to understand how entity framework tracks changes. When you use as no tracking, EF does not keep track of the entity's state which is why you're facing duplication issues. First, let's retrieve the existing entities from the database without using as no tracking. This way, EF will track the changes made to the entities. You can do this by querying the database normally. Next, update the properties of the existing entities with the modified values from the user input. This ensures that only the necessary changes are applied without creating new instances. Finally, save the changes back to the database. Since EF is tracking the existing entities, it will only update the modified properties and not create duplicates. In summary, by retrieving the existing entities without ASNO tracking, updating their properties, and then saving the changes, you can effectively reattach a modified entity without duplicating child entities. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. This user is exploring how to reattach modified entities with nested child entities. They recommend checking a helpful document on MSDN for guidance. They mention that using .add might not be necessary, as it could create new records instead of updating existing ones. The user has successfully attached entities by setting their state to modified, and is currently researching how to handle related properties, especially in one-to-many relationships. They suggest looking into the section on attaching existing entities to the context for potential solutions. Additionally, they found an interesting post on Code Project about reattaching entity graphs in Entity Framework, which they plan to try. And that's it, guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.